Welcome to the rainforest. Guys, right now we are in Costa Rica. We flew from Miami to San Jose. And from San Jose, we got on a little puddle jumper plane and flew another hour to, excuse my Spanish, Puerto Jimenez. So that's where we are right now. We're staying at the Botanica Resort and we are gonna go fishing with Crocodile Bay. Today, we are specifically gonna be having an inshore fishing trip. So we're not gonna be going far offshore. We're gonna be staying so close. So no, no billfish. No billfish, no, no sailfish. sailfish, no marlin. We might see some rooster fish. We could catch Kubera snapper. We could also get into the tunas if they're in tight because we have heard they've been around. So we're not really sure what we're gonna go for, but we've ne never caught a rooster fish, neither of us. And we've never boated a yellowfin tuna. So you never know what's gonna happen. My name's Amanda, Emily's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. We are catching bait and we're targeting blue runners on sabikis because cast nets are illegal here. So we can't throw a net and catch 20 bait. Right, well, we're actually time. hoping for sardines. We are hoping for sardines, but we have been catching some blue runners, which I, I mean, look at the live well, Amanda. Yes, yeah, so we got a full granted, live well. We were not part of all of that. No, so um, most of this bait was already caught this morning and we're out here just looking for some extra bait some sardines and any extra blue runners that we might come by. There we go. All right. Got Eight some on. On. Watch out, There Amanda. we go. All right, I'm gonna. Two blue runners for Emily and two for Adrian Avoid. How many blue runners do you think we caught? I feel like we just caught like at 12. least 10. 12? It 12. was close to just right. shy of a dozen. So now the next bait that we're gonna go look for is sardines. And those are like. Those are rooster the, fish the prime. candy. Yes, these are like what we really wanna catch, but. Live bait is still live bait. More blue runners. Here we go. <laughs> we were hoping to find some sardines. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna now we're going to move. But we're okay. going to make another move because it's a blue runner central over here. Emily caught one, two. Uh, Adrian caught two, three. I mean, this is just. I caught three, Amanda. Emily caught three. There's three on my sabiki. So we caught seven in one drop. Making another move. Here we go. Next drop. Do you guys see the ripples on the water, Amanda? All right, let me see. see. OK. I don't, you see the ripples? I can definitely tell. Because so if you guys look straight out, basically the water's kind of ripply. And then if we like look out even further, it's like flat, calm, and a slip. So those ripples, they're not just, that's not the boat. Those like little tiny ripples that basically look like boiling water is best way to describe it. That is actually the sardines, especially right out there, if you guys look. And past that, it's slick calm. So that's how we know we can see the bait. And we're dropping on, down. Emily is on. Do we think it's is it a, a blue sardine? runner or a sardine? It's sardines. Sardines. Nice got a job. We got some sardines. Watch out, Amanda. Coming through. Sardine coming in the boat. We've got sardines. There we go. There's our sardine. Getting thrown to the live well. Thank you, buddy. Don't jump out. What's happening? We're on! We're on! That was so fast! What happened? Alright, so we put out, or I didn't put them out, but we're trolling, bump trolling, live baits. Live baits. And this is, I think it's a rooster fish, you guys. <gasps> oh my goodness, okay. Alrighty, that was like, Amanda! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay guys, that was like, Instant. Instant. Instantaneous back bite. Back up, All right, we got to back up. You caught your my first rooster fish. fish. It's really slippery, and I don't want to drop them on the deck. So are we good to, are we release, good to release this fish? Can we release it? Yeah. All right. OK. Are you so, ready? Wait, yeah, let's wait. just smile. Rooster fish. Beautiful rooster fish. Check out those gorgeous stripes. First of all, I mean, look at that. <laughs> those fins. I mean, that's just so cool. So we got the skunk off the boat literally in five minutes. Five minutes. And Not this even. fish was actually a team effort. 
It um, was. We had some camera issues. We had some technical difficulties. So I <laughs> reeled in most of it, and then and Emily then... got the picture. <laughs> but that All is right. okay. All right. All right. Nice fish. Beautiful. Should we? Should we send him home? I think it's time for a release. All right. Let's put him in the water. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yep. First. Head first. You ready? Yep. Swims away. Fun fact: We've had this second fish on for quite a while. The entire time that we reeled in our first fish. We didn't have enough anglers on board, so it's just the two of us today. So now we can fight this second fish. He is taking drag, he is running. Hopefully it's another rooster fish. So that first fish, I started reeling it in, and it happened so fast we had to grab the camera, so then... Because guys, yeah. we do this for you. Yes. For the viewers. So what's the point to landing a fish if you don't get to experience we it We have with a us? personal rule, which is, Honestly, I know it sounds sad, but the camera comes first. Because unless we're not filming. Unless we're not filming, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But if we're filming, why catch the fish if you don't get it on camera? So long story short, that last fish was a total team effort. It was fast. And this fish, we just had the rod and the rod holder. It's another rooster. It's another fish, rooster. Oh my gosh. We've been fishing for like 20 minutes. And we've caught two rooster fish already. This fish was literally in the rod holder with light drag, just hanging out out there. Oh, we reeled in that first guy. Amanda, my boots yeah. are getting filled with water. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have to take our boots off. All right, this live well is dumping water right into my boots. I think it's gonna have to be a barefoot kind of day. You almost there? Kind of, he's, yeah, he's cool, We're at color. Oh, I see him. There he is, you have to surf, Emily, look at him. Can you see him? All right, guys, look for, look for that shine on the surface. Look for look that. Look for the shine. Can you see it? Yep, oh yep, we see it. We see the shine. Oh. He just dove down. Just dove down just again. Just lost the shine. This one's bigger than the last one. Here we okay. see him coming to the surface. Here we you go. See that green shine, that silver oh, color. There he oh, yeah. is. All right. Back up. Do you think he's bigger than the other one, Amanda? Just a hair. Just a small, small, small amount. Yep, got the rod. fish in the boat in under 10 minutes not even that was insane oh my gosh my first rooster fish that's amazing literally we both caught our first rooster fish <laughs> in like what five ten minutes it was insane so emily i think mine's a little bit bigger it's definitely bigger it's not a competition though no okay amanda let's get guy. a picture yes let's get a picture so Amanda, yes. these are part of the Jack family. Yes, they are. We're taking a picture with Adrian. <laughs> We're taking selfies. <laughs> We're going to just let this guy go because he's feisty. <laughs> he is ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> he was ready to get back Woo! in the water. We have another one on. OK, this is the first one that I completely so caught single-handedly. Single single so the last one was mine. Amanda hooked it. The first it. one was a team effort. Amanda hooked it and I kind of reeled it into the boat. Mainly because we were having technical difficulties with the camera and uh, Amanda's the more techie twin. That is so true. So there's issues. Oh, we're already here, Amanda. Whoa, that was fast. It's already here. It's another rooster fish. Oh my gosh. All right, Amanda, I need to get a picture with this one. I didn't get of a picture course, with Of course, we're gonna grab you one. Rooster fish. Yes. Number three being released very quickly. Sorry about the water on the lens. These guys are spicy. ready to go home. <laughs> rooster fish on. Well, well we don't know. Like, no, never mind. I don't know why I For said sure. that. For sure. You're right. But that I mean, premature. based on what we've been catching, process of elimination. Very true. All right. Reeling in my fish. So tell us, Amanda. Yeah, so if it is a rooster fish. Fun fact, rooster fish are a species of Turn the that jack family. <laughs> There's these of the Jack family, and they have that rooster comb like on the their fins, head. The top fins. Which is what makes it why they call them rooster fish. Pretty self-explanatory. Since they're the species of a Jack, they are a species of the Jack family. They are not necessarily good to eat. So strictly a game fish. Kind of like tarpon, Jack Cavalli, kind of thing. You know, but you can only catch these guys in certain parts of the world. Costa Rica being one of them. <laughs> yeah. I believe you can catch them in Peru. Our and, like, hometown, our hometown definitely not a location to catch these guys. No, so we are definitely 
had to travel quite a bit to find these guys. But they wanted to show up. Yes, we they had to like, take a plane to San two Jose. Planes. We flew from one, San yes. one plane from Miami to San Miami Jose. Miami to San Jose. And then a little itty bitty prop plane. Yep. From San Jose to Oh it's a rooster. It's a rooster. Yep. There we go. It's feisty. And these guys, the bite is they're not okay. ready. Making another He's run. Not ready to go. So, so you don't reel against the drag. No. Here he comes. This time I think he's ready. Maybe. Not quite. We got him! Yeah! In the boat! We got this guy? Yes. We're gonna go for a fast release. Fast release. Head first. I'm holding him over the side of the boat because he would I figured he'd tell me when he's ready, but we're gonna go. <laughs> Before we let the next Bait out, we'll show you guys the rig. So we have this little sinker, what is that, like a two ounce sinker or so? Roughly. And then we have a swivel to, to our the leader. Floral, I'm guessing this is fluorocarbon. We got a, a nice circle hook and a sardine on the end and of it. And he looks like he's just hooked straight through the nose. So we've got a 10 foot leader, roughly, I would say, to our sinker. And it looks like we've got a bimini after that. So a very typical standard um, siding sinker rig. We use these all the time down in the Florida But we use them to catch mutton snappers. We use them to catch mutton snappers, exactly. And we could catch some and snappers groupers. up here with this too. Emily did catch one on her sabiki earlier. Yeah, we didn't get that on camera. So we're setting these guys out, setting the baits out, and then we're putting the rod, just like this, let's come over yeah. here. We've got our rod on the rod holder. The reel. We so we're the using 10, 10 fathoms. fathoms. I believe these are the 40s. Are they 40s? Yep, okay, so we're using 10 fathom 40s. We've got our Pen Fathom 40 reels, and the rod is in the rod holder, the bait is out there, and essentially we're just bump trolling. So we're just kind of like you can hear the captain, he's in and out of gear on the throttles, just kind of keeping those baits swimming straight behind the boat. So and you don't waiting. go too fast. You don't want to go too fast because you'll drown your bait. But you don't want to go, go too, too slow. slow. Then they'll swim everywhere and go faster than the boat. So you're just kind of like... Keeping them in line, like, yeah. you're, like you're walking a dog like a, or something. Yeah, so, <laughs> and what we do is we wait for that bite, the drag is super, super yeah, light. Yeah, so let's talk about the drag. So if we get a, fi a fish, a bite, this will come out. Yes. So if we get a bite, line starts peeling, and when that happens, we're gonna drop it into a free spool, let the line come out even faster, let the fish swallow the bait. Wait three seconds, and then we're gonna lock it up and reel. Turn on. <laughs> Are we doubled up on We're tunas? We're doubled up on tunas! <laughs> oh my gosh. Are these gonna be our first yellowfin tunas ever? They'll be our first boat yellowfin tunas ever. Should we tell the, the, the story time? Yeah, let's do story time. We both technically caught yellowfin tunas because we've gotten leader grabs on yellowfin tunas, which makes it a catch. And they were doubled up with, to 90 pound yellowfin tunas. We got them boat side, and at the boat, we lost the fish. So, we never even saw it. I didn't see it, no, the captain saw it and said it was a 90 pound fish. I was like, are you kidding me? They were both side, leader touch, makes it a legal catch. But since it's a yellowfin tuna and it wasn't boated, I think I count it as a loss. So we need to boat these tunas. These might not be yellowfin tunas, Emily. It could be oh, anything. No. Well, you guys think they're not yellowfins now? No, no, no. Oh. I'm telling you, we saw, we saw a tuna. All right, guys, so Adrian said not to get too excited. They did see yellowfin tunas in the group, in the school by the dolphins, the porpoises. Oh wait, we see color. It could be bonita, could be tuna. Definitely not mahi, because it's what not What do we jumping. think it is, Amanda? I don't know, we're at color. We officially right, have Amanda. our leader this touch. This is the moment of truth. So That's it's not a catch. touch yet, hold on. It's now a catch. Oh, it's a little guy. <laughs> it's like the size of our flocks. All right, got it. Oh, all right, fish isn't done, going for a run. It's the size of our black fins. <laughs> it is the size of our black fin tuna. All right, we're definitely at color. Looks okay, like another yellow fin, Emily. He's a swinger, though. <laughs> Not a gaffer. Not a gaffer, but I don't care. Not quite a gaffer. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Landed in the boat. My first ever. All right. Fish is definitely starting to get tired. Here we go. There he is. We're gonna try. We got yeah! him! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> two for two on yellowfin tuna between fishing spots. <laughs> We've officially caught dinner. <laughs> we gotta rinse the deck off. But there we have 
our two yellowfin tunas. Wait, and hold on. What yes. are the odds of this? What is this right here? It's a yellowfin tuna sandwich. Okay, so so what happened is the Captain Charlie, saw, yeah, saw some birds and porpoises and was like, oh my gosh, there's tunas in there. So we were like, okay, we're gonna troll. We were trolling, we weren't getting any bites, and we were starving. So you know what, I'm gonna get my sandwich. You break out the sandwich, you take one bite, and we doubled up on tunas. <laughs> so we've had yellowfin tuna sandwiches for lunch. I have a feeling we'll probably be having some yellowfin tuna for dinner as well. So we're starting to lose color fast because he's been sitting in the cooler. But if you look, very similar to a blackfin tuna, except these bright, run, run! There you go. <laughs> this one sounds a bigger. Spicy one. Oh my goodness. So we might be tangled up. We're not 100% sure. So that's why Adrian's reeling in that second lure as I reel in. So if you notice those yellow tunas, this is another one we can show you. They've got those yellow fins. Black fins will have those yellow fins as well, but they're not as like prominent. Yellow. Like they're more muted, more like a grayish yellow, right? right. Emily? And a big difference. So those yep. are smaller ones. Yep. But the black fins, a big black fin is like 30 pounds. Tops. Tops. That's like That's like my biggest black fin ever was like 20, 25, 25 pounds. Yeah. Right. So a big yellow fin is like 150 pounds. pounds. Well yeah, obviously yeah. Like 90. Right. So different species, same family. Is it another yellow it's fin? It's another yellow fin! He's going crazy. There's actually a tangle, so we're just trying to be careful. Get this guy in the boat. Yeah. There's our third yellow fin third. tuna. So we're in with the tunas. So Emily, yes, ma'am. You want to get a shot of these yeah. bright yellow Look fins? Look at how bright yellow. And specifically, we're talking about the dorsal fin, right? And the anal fin. We're not talking about the pectoral fins. Correct. Those look very similar to. And the they also fin have yes. these stripes. Oh yeah. So you guys see those stripes? That's not really common in a black fin. So why don't we have a photo of a black fin pop yeah. up, Next and then two. you guys can compare this yellow fin, beautiful fish. Amanda, yes. let's, get, let's get a picture with it. Yes, please. As you can see, we are totally getting rained on, and it was kind of our fault that we didn't think to bring rain gear because we rain like, it's summer, it's summer in Costa Rica, but guys, we're in a rainforest. Like, like the look, rainforest is look right at that. there. That's, a, that's land. That's the jungle. That's the jungle right there. So we hope you guys had tons of fun watching. We had an absolutely great time today. We will be linking in the description box if you guys want to come out here and do us all the details. We hope you get out there, have fun, and stay safe.